this is my new online ordering system i have actually developed this just because i got a, a request from a guy who wanted an output or a receipt format so let me just show you how it works so let's say the name is jesus peace okay that's the name of the guy right there that's his phone number okay now the quantity of wine ordered there all you just need to do now is click on total and to see the display that is required by this guy click on that and that is it and i also have a calculator embedded in it so you can just use the calculator to check out the total like let's say 8 multiplied by 8.9 multiply by 8.9 clear 8 times 8 okay there okay you can see the price there so that's how this very calculator works okay i have date time reference number and all of those information you will definitely see them on the receipt if you want to see the, if you want to see the whole of this code i will advise you to watch all of the program and uh, towards the end you see full introduction to the codes so let's go into java net bean and start a new project now hi and welcome to my new project this project i'm going to be calling this uh, ordering system it's going to be a little bit different from the one created earlier so that's my ordering system now so i'm going to uncheck this uh, create main class click on finish now i have my file right there so just right click and go to new select j frame and the j frame i will name that others and right here let's call that others as well underscore with an s so that's the name of the package we can finish now i have my other system there so what i just need to do now is to define my frame right so the frame let's go for something a little bit uh, i like it to fill the system so let's change the size to about 1800 plus by let's give this 1000 to or maybe just change this to 2000 and just let's see what will happen okay that's the size supposed to be the size of my frame right now okay I might as well even just compile and run just to see how it looks on the screen but let's run it and see okay this is how it's looking right now sort of like fill up the whole screen yeah so I may have to I think I'll work with this I think that's fine but let's work with this close that but I can always maybe remodify or maybe just change it let's change it change this one to 1000 here so that's fine okay the next thing i'll do now is i'm gonna need uh, frames any one frame here let's change the border style of that very frame so that is visible for me let's look for border style that's the border style there change that to approximately the thickness just change it to four i'm just gonna copy that same panel let's copy that very panel it's a panel not a frame sorry about that so copy it and just extend it that much bring this down and bring this down right down okay the next thing i will need now is let's move this to here okay the next thing i will need to work on is uh, tap plane right there that's my tap plane drag it maybe about that yeah that that's that would do just bring it down a little bit okay that's my tab there you guys might not be able to see it but that's the tab okay for you to be able to see the tab properly i will now add a panel to it click and select make sure you get the jagged edge or the broken lines before you drop your panel in okay drop it in then you can see this all right so the you can then right click edit that very one i intend to call it reset i don't need another one i'm going to add another panel click come here to get my second tab i don't have the jagged edge yet so come here or the broken let's get it i need to get this broken lines yeah that's the broken line you can see that okay then drop it that's the second one 
I only need two of those so the second one right click and just edit that change that to calculator right there so with the second one I can just drop whatever I want to let's paste my calculator buttons there okay that's my calculator buttons in there so the buttons is out of the way so we also need yeah that's fine the next thing I need now is uh, you see these very receipts there I would need text area this very text area click just drop it in there resize it how I want Enough about that yeah that's, that's that would do I'll be using the text area as my receipt okay so if I run my program now let's say I compile and just run yeah run oh there's an error there somewhere this is how it looks that's the text area and that's the calculator buttons right now they do nothing much okay all right let's clear all right let's go back and just continue okay the first thing I would do is to fix the error that we had in the calculator let's just take care of that now you can see it right there okay that means there's an error in there if I click on the source of the calculator okay, what is what the problems are, are is just some variables that are missing there they are if you want to know how to create a calculator I already I've already created some calculators on uh, YouTube you can have a look at those all I've just done is just copy my calculator that I've created and just paste it on this new project and those are the lines of codes for the calculator there they are those are the variables missing so all I just need to do now is to come right underneath here and just uh, paste my missing variables there there and that will be all so if I, if I click on uh, debug as you can notice all of the errors are gone so I can then run my program again and just play around with my calculator there okay you see it's working as expected all right one other thing is uh, if you notice this my tab i think maybe i should, should put a border around it let's put a border around the tab let's come in here select the tab itself this very tab make sure it's selected and just click on border and that's the line uh, maybe i should make that about two there so hopefully i should be able to see the border around the tab right now if i run my program okay you can see the border around it so the next thing I'm going to do is just to finish up the design of my interface. Okay, let's get that over with. Move this here. Let's move this right underneath here. Okay, this is how the design of my interface is looking right now. But the next thing I would do is maybe just let me just run it so that you see it anyway. But this is how it's looking right now. And uh, like I said earlier on, if you need the codes for the calculator, that's very easy. You will find that on my YouTube channel anyway. And um, in fact, if you need the code for this very program, you can always send me an email and I'll send you the codes. Okay, you see this JTEX area? That would be the output for whatever order that is made. So let's continue. So the first thing I'll do is to add a button. Let's get a button on board, and I'll call that display. There. Right, maybe change the font. So let's change the font of this display to something and uh, make that 12 for now. Then the next thing I'll do is I need as follows. I need some labels and that label I'll call that quantity let's just say QTY change the font size to 12 as well or maybe 10 for now oh, that's a bit too small let's go for 12 and that's it so I need a couple of those maybe I should move this up here really so let, let's delete that and just I'll drag it up there yeah that's fine and I'll just speed it up and get back to you guys okay now finish with the design of the interface and this is how it's looking right now okay let's move this so that you can see it that's how it looks right now uh, one thing I like to achieve is for uh, to be able to click on the display button right here and display the data every single data in these text boxes okay 
this design is very similar to my previous order system that's on youtube as well for you guys to see but before i continue i intend to import the following i've already imported some for the back color the dates the calendar and i also intend to this time around make sure i generate a reference number which i did not do in the previous one so the following importation i'll just add those to the system there okay this is to write to the file or read from the file okay so let me just compile and run the system so that you guys see what i'm talking about so if i click on run run anyway this is how the system is looking right now okay so the calculator is working as expected okay but the rest of the component exit i believe the exit is working now if i click on that no it's not working oh it is working let's see let's go back to the code of the exit just double click on that no it's not working that is the that is it right there let's let's see again what happened that is the exit code so let me just cut that off and paste it right in here that's my exit code so if i run the code i should have compiled okay, let's see I click on exit yeah the exit is now working that's the lines of code for just to exit the system okay the next thing i will do now is to declare some variables for the order okay so let's declare some variable now come in here and go right underneath here here yeah, i already have the, the variables for the calculator now here are the variables for my ordering system okay so okay i would like to change the color of my background i can you can always select whatever color you want so i'm just going to click on the event now come to the windows window activate and the color of my background i just enter that right there you can always choose whatever color you want let's see if there's any other color that might look good um let's try maybe yeah let's try that and see what will happen let me just run it and see compile let's run it i still have some error in there which we can easily take care of anyway all right that's the color that looks very horrible so let's just change it around go back in there right click on let's look for the events yeah right there so maybe i should just leave it as black i prefer black that looks good okay yeah why not let's see maybe there's any other color no i'm going to set you for black okay. the next thing i want to do now is take care of my of that bear button there okay let's go for j j key one dot set text let's make that none right so I'll, I'll just repeat the same thing for all and get back to you guys and right here that's the those are the reset codes sorry for my component for all the component of my system let's come down here double click on total there right here i've already entered the codes for the total i have a local variable declared there and those are the lines of codes for my calculation for the item purchased online there they are okay okay now with the total everything is completed there but here as for the date the time okay from here down here those lines of codes are just for the date and the time and here i have my final calculation for the total here is converted to pound sign you can see the pound sign there All right so those are just the line of code for total 
okay let's take it down bring it down so that you can see it more now the next thing is you if you notice there's still an error here let me come here and just take care of that now if i double click on my display i have this in here so all i just need to do is to change that to j j quantity j quantity one and j quantity two those ones are sorted but I'm gonna need more of those because I actually need it to display on my text field. So click in there and just make this make this number four and this one add one more here and that'll be quantity three. Yeah. And this one change it to three. Let's change this to three as well. So that's the error there gone. This is supposed to be my display. It's not going to work as expected right now. It will give wrong information, but I still need to get it right. Okay. Okay. Right here, I've used try catch. If I don't use that, this uh, writer will not work, I think. And uh, I've actually asked it to create a file for me. So I'm just going to change the name of those that I've verified to I i order i don't have any i order there but what what will happen is the system will actually generate a text file called i order and that is that so if there's any error my try cache function we just pop in and get that sorted for me so i think everything is in order now so let's let me just compile it and see and i take it from there we look at this we might not need this anymore okay that's for the calculator if you need this code you can always just send me an email you know get it forwarded to you so let's see compile let's run it and see the error is gone now so that's it that means um, we're on the right track okay the customer I just need to enter their name there. Let's just call that uh, maybe Isa. Okay. And uh, all right. Then the telephone number. We just make the update. The system will generate the date and time, so all I need to do is to enter how many bottles of white wine and uh, the other wine. The other wine, I just need to complete that. If I click on total, that is what happened. Now, let's verify if our display is working. Here you can see the display just show the quantity of wine and so on. I need to change this one. I need to customize it so that it looks like it actually give the right information that's what I need to do now clear buttons work but it's not working for this so we need to clear, be able to play this as well so now we just need to verify if any of this information the information here if it's saved into my into my area so let me open that and see and let's come in here and go straight into okay now let's click in on my java file there i order that is it right there okay that's the information okay so it actually saved it into my system i can always ask you to to just uh, to add and uh, delete but i'll just like i prefer it like this because uh, you'll be able to print it out so i just enter my clay in here so so let's come in here get the name of this very component is known as that's it right there text area copy and come straight into here and just paste it right there dot set and uh, just click it and that's all copy that paste it right there okay yeah that's it done so that's how you clear the text area as well now the next thing is to customize the customize the text area properly so let's double click on the display i've been able to display how many items just two one and two and this is supposed to be the 
third one. So what I'll do next is uh, let's make it look more professional. So right here, that'll be, let's change that to number of white wine. Okay, make that capital letter number of white wine. Okay, and the second one would be number of red wine. Just do it individually. Okay, maybe enter. Enter number. Number of red wine. Okay. Then the third one, that will be number order type of wine. And I think I should add an heading there. I don't have a name for this for my shop, so let's enter something like online wine order systems. Okay, that's the name, and just put one of those. Add a clause there and take care of that. Alright. Okay, that is taken care of. We still need to take care of the calculation though. So in here, let's just say cost of order. Total cost of wine. Okay, total cost of wine order. Maybe let's just break this into two. Yeah, why not? So that you guys can see it. Yeah. Um, break this down as well. Yeah. Maybe bring this up. Uh, bring this up. Then break it. Okay, let's break it from here. And let's add this to that. I guess you should be able to see it a little bit. Okay. Uh, just break that. Add this. There. Okay. Now we have total cost of wine order. The total cost of wine order will become this. Let's copy all of that. Let's copy everything in here. Uh, yeah, that's right. Copy. Plus that. And change this to 4. I need equals here. Right. Uh, I don't have to. That's fine. We have a tab. Do we have a tab here? We have a tab here. Number of wine order. Here we have a tab. Okay, let's save, compile, and run just to see if it's working as we want. We can always modify it anyway. So let's run it. Enter quantity there. And here I need to change that to other one and just click on total now display we have our title there look at that and I'm going to need some space here and we need a tab so let's modify this thing but just before then let's use our calculator we can use this for multiply by 7.90 Okay, you see that that's correct. So let's check out our reset that works clear. Now we want this. I want two of those to give me about yeah that's fine. Three three is fine. Let's tap this straight to this center. That should do it. Take that as excess. 
okay let's see how it looks now there should be another tab here take this off and just enter a tab one tab there and let's compile enter wine purchase there this guy must be an alcoholic now click on total the display okay too many tab take this down all right and maybe increase the font size of that as well okay just come in here now select this increase the font size font select property there's a font there let's make that bold let's go for 14 and see that's fine let's complete this that's supposed to be all that one other type of one okay now that's looking good okay there's one thing I was meant to have added I've completed this so let's I think I should add a reference number yeah reference number okay let's rearrange this and right here I will have my reference number so let's maybe copy one of these grab that and just drag it around there I can't do that I might as well just create one where is I can always use a label yeah why not use a label paste it right there change the name of the label to change that to J J ref number there now come to the property of that label delete that now border style let me change the border style so that I can see it I'm gonna make that maybe two click that is my J label there right there okay and maybe increase the font size as well so that's all the reference number taken care of but let's add a label there for so but before that double click on total and right underneath here I will declare and paste the following are the following lines of codes that is it there let's change this the error there change that to all the reference that's that's that taken care of those are the lines of code for my for my reference so this will be reference or the reference number copy that and get a label right there yeah maybe copy this here yeah, copy this why not copy paste this in there Let's drag it along and change the name to all that reference number all the ref number there okay So if I run my program, let's save it, compile, and run. This is how the interface is looking now, and my other reference number in there. So let's see if the other reference number works. Decision time now. Okay, you can see the reference. That's the reference there, but I just need to change the font size. Okay, and change the back color maybe white as well select that font size let me make that 36 I think and it's plain let's make yeah plain okay let's change it to bold yeah, why not yeah there now alright let's move this in a little bit 
OK. Save. Save. Compile. I believe you guys will enjoy this very tutorial. You should be able to develop something very similar. So if I click on total, there. That's my other reference number right there. And we can then display. That's it. OK. And maybe we just need to tab. Maybe two more tabs to separate this. All right, and this one we need to tab it back. Delete one tab here. Yeah, let's just do that now. Double click on display. We have two tabs there. One tab here. A tab here. Let's get rid of this tab. Place this tab right in there and delete as follows delete yeah okay we have one two maybe one tab and that might do it for now now the font size that's a bit too small Let's increase that to 24 and see what will happen. Then we take it from there. If it's good enough, then I'll just call it the end of the program. Go back. Get it sorted. Make that 18. Yeah, we change the font size to 18. Let's give it a try and see okay just to finalize this very program if I run it now and click on this or oh, reset sorry let's run it again total and display this is how it looks now the tab is now in order but I need to add the time dates and reference number and then, then maybe a goodbye message right there so let's see if we can do that I'm going to total let's go into total right there double click on total I'm gonna to need the following okay I need the name I need this that's J time J dates and I also need this okay maybe just copy this I copy this yeah let's copy it right underneath here enter as follows and I need this very name there this very name copy this very name and just paste it in here change that to get get text then yeah that's fine I'm gonna need a couple of that as well Let's cut it off now let's go into display double click on display right here and paste it right up there okay that's fine get text dot get whatever text text is in there yeah okay now that is for the reference number we also need another one for the date and time that would be i date equals j date dot get x there then one for the time then we need time i time equals j time is called dot get let's copy and paste drop it there okay I have all of the variables that we call the dates 
does recall the date and the, the time and the reference numbers so all I need to do is just come in here add close and just copy this copy that paste it right underneath there so let's enter yeah let's paste that in there close that then I need another plus let's get one of these as well okay that will be for plus I date and then one more and that will be for that will be for the I time I time okay that's for the I time okay finally I'm gonna need something that we sort of like say thanks for shopping and uh, have a nice day something like that so let's say plus right underneath here this or maybe in here let's enter thanks for shopping online there yeah that, that'll be all really so maybe I should tap this let's tap this to the middle yeah okay if I save compile and run let's run it and see hopefully it should work as, uh, as we want enter the name there Okay, that's the name of my man. Enter the date, a telephone number, and right here, enter as follows. Okay, one more. All right, click on total. That's the reference number. Okay, now we need to check this out. Yes, it's working as expected, but I think maybe we should have reference there, date and time. Yeah. Yeah, we're missing that. Let's do that. Let's do that. We might as well get it right. Back to drawing board. Okay. Right here, I should have something that will say date here. Yeah. This is reference. So we need something that will say reference number plus quote reference number. Or the reference number okay we have that there now we need a tab then the next one we need is close there that will be for the date date we have a tab there we might as well just press enter here so that you guys can see the codes uh, this one will have another plus space in here speech mark um, that will be time and a tab hopefully that should solve the problem okay this is how the whole system looks now I have two more tabs in there let's see if it works as we want compile run there enter our coaches there and right here let's give it a name Papa Papa Yankee okay then let's uh, the telephone number of Papa Yankee add okay display there looks like we might do with one more tab okay so I'll get that sorted and get back to you guys anyway so exit okay so let's just run it again and see we may have one or two things to fix 
before I can finally call it by for now so display alright this is how it's looking now I've been able to format all of this right but if you look at this the total cost of the wine order is wrong it's supposed to be this okay and maybe we can even multiply show the sign and uh, maybe I should just do that I think I'll do that and just get back to you guys show you the codes okay I'm back to the display I've declared all my variables that I intend to use now and I've tested one out that's it right there okay up to here if I run the program just run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about just enter whatever value in there and click on total display you can now see that seven pound ninety multiplied by five he said uh, has thirty nine pounds fifty so if you want to validate that seven point nine multiplied by five there okay see why the calculator is useful so that's the price and that is our receipt right there okay so all that is left for us to do now is uh, maybe move this in a little bit and just uh, complete the other two so let's go in here I've copied this already so we'll come in here so right here this right here paste and change these to two and change the other one here to two as well okay so I only need one of these okay let's just press enter so that we have it on another line yeah that's fine guys should be able to see it and the third let's paste that in there as well and change this to three change this to three as well okay let's press enter so you should be able to see the lines of codes right now all right those are the lines of code so hopefully it should work as expected so if i run the program now i agree it looks a little bit busier than what it was before yeah. this is the line of code for the display so just look at take it from here from up there scroll right down those are the lines of codes for the display okay this i just made this up you can always make this up yourself this is the area where I'm saving my text file. Alright, let's have a go at it and see. Run. Okay, it's taking its time. There it comes. Now, enter a name there. So let's call that um, Charlie Papa. Okay, Charlie. Let's go for Charlie. Charlie. Oh, let's call it Charlie Tango. Yeah, five November Alpha Charlie Tango. Okay, let's enter some numbers in there. And right here, let's enter the quantity and nine right there. Click on total. Now decision time. Let's see the display there, guys. Look at that, and that is the total. As the total there and that's the total right there reference number reference number date that the purchase was made check that out time check that out so guys now we call it the end of this program I suppose you all enjoy it if you have any need for the codes you can always get in touch with me and I will forward the codes to you and just before I go, let me show you guys the whole codes again. I'm right here. Those are the objects that I imported, these ones that are underlined. 
I didn't actually use them but I'm gonna need them for something else so I'll let go of that and here I have the variables for the calculator here are the variables for the wine you can see my comment there let's comment here as well that's the YouTube link to the calculator right there and these are the lines of code for the backspace in the calculator that's for the to clear the display division operator subtraction operator uh, this is for button 9 actually and this is button 8 I think this is button 7 this is for button 4 button 6 button 5 and here this is uh, another link to one of my calculator on YouTube so you can always have a go at that and this is the operator for the plus operator actually okay that's for the addition operator multiplication operator right there and here this is for button 3 button 2 button 1 and this is for button zero that is the decimal place and then here we have minus plus and here these are the lines of code for the equals okay have a good look at it if you want this code i'll have it on my share drive you can always send me an email there and here these are the lines of code that I use to append all the text into my text area those are the lines of codes there and here the very first other system de developed these are the lines of codes for that okay these are the lines of code for the addition or the total A total whatever you ordered and that's the exit button there and here these are the lines of code for the reset and that will be all bye for now